Simon and Schuster released the book uh, that we're talking about, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, as a children's pop-up book, uh, which is weird, but I don't know. Um, so here you have it, uh, the first and only Stephen King pop-up book. Uh, it was done in two states, a trade state and a limited. This is the trade state. Um, on the back of the book, it doesn't have a copyright page, so on the back of the book, you'll see a printing uh, line that goes down to one to indicate a first printing. Uh, the price on the book is $24.95, and it's a very interesting thing. It's got you know, pop-up, it's like a typical pop-up book with, uh, if you haven't seen this in person, it's got little, you know, like little slides that you pull that move pieces. And, you know, look, it's like, like what you remember from being a kid. So little pieces open, there's little envelopes and little things that open and you, you know, whatever, uh, pieces come open like that and there's more so this is uh look at that lots of forests because the book takes place in a forest but yeah so there you have uh there you have this crazy crazy thing um a stephen king pop-up uh the girl who loved tom gordon and then uh, it was released as a signed limited edition. I'm sorry, we're talking about The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, pop-up version, um, which is even crazier than just releasing the pop-up by itself. The Large Press did a signed limited edition, so that is kind of nuts uh, that there would you know, even be a market for such a thing, but people wanted it because it's a limited edition. Uh, so it was released in this um, cloth, black cloth slipcase, which is really nice because it keeps the book uh, flat. And if you look at the trade one, you know, it, it tends to kind of bow because it's so big, um, you know, when it sits on the shelf, uh, the bottom of it, you know, that's where all the pop-up stuff is. It tends to bow a little bit. The trade, the slipcase limited keeps it, just dropped it. Uh, Slipcase, no damage. Slipcase on the limited keeps it uh, flat, which is nice. So um, uh, this one has a um, illustrated scratch mark on the front, which the trade edition does not have, uh, which is the um, signed and limited piece. So let's Let's get this open. Sorry, I can't hold it up for you and do it at the same time. Uh, so th this opens up to reveal uh, Stephen King's little signature there and the number of the book. So it's out of 125 copies. Uh, this is the number out of 125. So there were 125 of these done and you get a little extra pop-up piece here that's not in the regular edition. Um, and that's, oop, can you see it? That's what that looks like. And then the inside of the book is exactly the same as the regular trade, uh, trade edition. Um, it's all the same. Um, the back is different though. So the back has a different, uh, so let's take a look. Here's the back of the, oop, hard to hold two of these. Jesus, here's the back of the trade. I'm going to drop them. And here's the back of the limited. Uh, so, oh my God. So there you have it. You know, I can handle my pretty pony, but I pick one of these up and it's, stuff is falling. So anyway, this is the um, limited edition of uh, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. I'm going to try to put it back in here without dropping it. There we go. There you have it.